Welcome back to our Ticket Broker project. We are going to build the auditorium class. So we'll start out by saying public class auditorium. And we'll open and close curly braces. And then we need to set up our um, auditorium of seats. So we'll say private seat. And we'll have two brackets for the arrays and we'll call it auditorium. So when we use um, two sets of brackets, that means we're going to have a 2D array of seats. Just like in the soda machine project where we had a 2D array of sodas. Uh, we'll at least need variables for the rows and columns, so we'll say private int rows and private int columns. Then we'll make a, let's put a comment here for our fields. And then we'll make our constructor. And we'll say public auditorium. And we're going to pass in a variable for the rows and one for the columns. So we'll be able to set the rows and the number of columns. And that should be C O L U M N S because that's the name of our field. And then we'll also need to instantiate the array. So we'll say auditorium is equal to new seat. And pass in our row and column variables. And this will allow us to change the size of the auditorium if we want to. And then we're also going to create a method that populates the auditorium. So we'll say populate auditorium. And we'll need the, num the row, number of rows and the number of columns. All right, so let's make that method populate um, well, let's do our getters and setters first. And so we can do um, public uh, seat get auditorium and we can return auditorium. And then um, we need setters for the rows and columns. So private void set rows int r, and then rows is equal to r. And, oops, and this should be public, not private. And then public void set columns in C columns is equal to C and then we might want to be able to see how many rows or columns we have so we'll say public int get rows and we'll return rows public int get columns return columns all right so now that we have our getters and setters we can all start writing some methods so let's write the method populate auto auditorium so public void populate auditorium and we're going to say for int i is equal to zero as long as i is less than x i plus plus plus. 
4 and j is equal to 0 as long as j is less than y j plus plus auditorium at i and j is equal to new seat at i and j. And inner loop. Outer loop. Right. Now we need a method to reserve a seat. So seat in the auditorium. So let's say public void reserve seat. Pass in a row and column and we'll say auditorium AUD at row column dot seat reserved And this is a method in um, seats. Let's see, we also need a method to an assessor to get seats. So we can say up here um, public oops, seat get seat. And we need a particular row and column. And we're going to return auditorium at a particular row and column. And then lastly, we just need a two string to print out our auditorium so we can show our reserved seats. So we're going to say public void, uh, I'm sorry, public string two string. String SCR is equal to, I'm going to start off with the tab because we're going to put a tab in between each of the um, seat values of either R or O for open and reserved. So we'll say for int count is equal to zero as long as count is less than the columns count we can go up to the next column, next count And we're going to say SCR is equal to, whoops, plus equals count plus one. And we'll add a tab. And then we need to add a return character after the end of each row. So we'll say SCR plus equals slash n. And then we need to do this for the rows also. So 
Oops, that's inside. So four int x is equal to zero as long as x is less than the rows x plus plus. Then str plus equals x plus one plus a tab. And four int y is equal to zero as long as y is less than the columns. Y plus plus. str plus equals auditorium at x and y dot two string plus a tab. Cr plus equals slash n and then we're, when we're done we're going to return scr so this is end of two string End of class. And this is end inner loop and end outer loop. All right, so we'll compile. Let's see if we have any typos. Populate auditorium. See if we didn't spell it right. P O P. Oops, it's because I didn't add rows and columns in here. So I need to do int x and int y. And then it doesn't like this that I'm calling a seat. Ah, so we need to check our seat class and we're passing in two characteristics for seat. So we need a constructor that um, puts the seat at a particular row and column. So let's go ahead and add, we'll add a default constructor It doesn't take any characteristics and we can add one that takes a specific seat number. And then we can add another constructor that actually takes a seat at a particular location. So we'll say public seat int r int c. And we're going to say row is equal to r and column is equal to c. save and we will try to recompile. So now it says it's looking for a method called seat reserved. So we'll go back to seat 
and we need a boolean method for seat reserved. So we can just say indicators and setters, we can just say public void seat reserved. Turn reserved is equal to true. And we have a get reserved. And then in our seat. We can write a method that just returns R if it's reserved or O if it's not reserved. So I'm going to change this to string to public string to string. And if reserved. Return the letter R. Else, return O for open. And so now you've got a couple different ways to reserve your seat. The first one reserves them with X's and O's and the second one reserves them with R's and O's. So let's go ahead and compile this. So we need a private int row and a private int And though now we have everything fixed and we can go on to the runner in our next video. See you then.